Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a walkthrough of my warranty process with Old Town on my uh, Autopilot 120. Um, I was at the beach, as you guys saw, uh, when I did that little inshore video, the Salt Strong review. It happened maybe once or twice that whole you know, week that we were at the beach where it would just fail to spot lock or wouldn't want to turn to the right. I just, you know, un undid it, pulled it up, put it back, and it seemed to work fine. Then I got back and I was shooting the uh, puck demonstration video. And that's when this started happening where it would just fail to spot lock and it was getting more and more and more consistent. It was popping in and out of the collars and that was on May 31st. Today is June 21st. So it's been about three weeks since then and it hadn't gotten any better. It's actually gotten worse. So I reached out to Old Town on June 8th. Um, I had posted a video on the Facebook, that video that you guys were watching where it was just failing to spot lock and wouldn't turn right, but would turn left and that kind of stuff. Um, I sent him the links to those videos on Facebook. Sent them, you know, a picture of my serial number on the uh, side of the boat. And then I sent them pick these two pictures of the collar and what that looked like. It looks extremely worn, um, which is a little concerning because I think I've only been out in this boat probably 40 or 50 times. Seen a lot of people in, in harsher conditions like salt water and stuff that go out way more than I do, not have any issues. So I'm really hoping it's just this one particular motor and it's not like a widespread issue where you know i'm just gonna have the same problem with another motor uh just the experience of having to go through a motor swap um it doesn't make you feel the greatest being that it's only been on the water 40 or 50 times uh reliability was always a question in the back of my head when it came to these motorized kayaks especially with the minkota spot the spot lock uh, the 106 i'm not so worried about i know those stationary you know regular trolling motors last a long time it's a little concerning that they used plastic for the collars because it wore out pretty quickly on mine hopefully it was just a you know one-off problem with just that motor um, and quality control problem um, it definitely makes me think about the reliability especially with only one year left on my motor warranty um, if this happens again, you know, it's kind of like, well, I'm SOL and I have to buy a whole new spot lock motor and everything from Old Town or the kayak's basically a really heavy paddle kayak. Hopefully it's just a small percentage of, of people being affected by this issue and my second motor will have no issue and, you know, last a long time. But it, it definitely gives me doubts and it definitely gives me worries about this uh, kayak and setup which sucks because I really love this kayak I love the spot lock feature um, it's probably been my favorite kayak that I've ever owned um, without that spot I mean that motor is what makes that kayak I'll let you guys know when the new motor comes in we'll unbox it I'll go through that whole process of uh, reboxing the old one and shipping it back and let you see what you can expect if you have to go through a motor swap like this Here's the new motor, we're gonna gently open this up. We're gonna gently open this up because I'm pretty sure we have to send that motor back in this box. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna mess the box all the way. There you go, brand new motor. All right, here's the old motor. Here's the new one. You can see that collar right there versus this one, which you can kind of tell is all kinds of chewed up. They did include a new prop and instructions on how to pair. Here your uh, oh there's the pin there. That's good. Um, and then we have I'm gonna use the Navar floating one. And I've got my Navar floating prop nut. 
the way it's nice and toolless and it floats. So if you drop it, you're not SOL. I also keep the original prop nut and a spare floating prop nut in the kayak all the time anyway. There we go. There's the beep you want. I have to repair my puck and do that whole calibration process and everything also. But it is nice that they send printed instructions here. Um, it's just nothing on the inside. Um, but front and back on how to repair everything. synced up that easy. Um, it's literally just what you're going to do is you're going to hit the down button here and then click system. Click check, uh, click the check mark on pair. And you're just going to hit the pair button on top of here, just like you would when you do your puff and beep and boom, you're paired. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the old motor again. Um, that's all chewed up that was my issues that I was running into with this not locking in and it was just spinning um, but we just got to put that motor back in here so I'm gonna get this box back up I'm gonna show you guys that and then they literally email you a shipping label you print it out put it on put this box back in that box tape everything back up and then you just drop it off at UPS. All right, so the motor goes back in, uh, put the bubble wrap back on, close this box, drop it off at UPS. And it's as easy as that. Um, thankfully, Old Town is really good and they stand behind their product. Uh, this is not particularly Old Town's issue because um, it is a Minn Kota motor. And it's the same company, it's Johnson Outdoors, but um, it's, it's nothing to do with old town uh, the hole and everything is working perfectly fine it was just that little motor uh, collar that I showed you guys hopefully this one doesn't do it um, and hopefully this you know they wanted this motor back so they could do some research and see why it happened and maybe toughen up those parts then hopefully the motor that I used and wore out and everything like that will go back to them they can take a look at it uh, make the changes they need to make to make it a more reliable motor and uh, the product itself in the future will be better because of that. Uh, this is a first generation product, so these things happen, uh, especially, you know, with the whole COVID thing and production and, you know, they were just pumping them out because they were super popular. Um, they were just pumping them out as fast as they can. So I'm hoping that that's, that's it. And uh, hopefully this new motor lasts for years, um, but it was super cool with them. I would say, uh, post on Facebook, Ryan Lilly reached out to me, told me, you know, hey, next time you go out, if it's still doing it, um, reach out to customer service. I went out a week later, it was still doing it, it had gotten worse. I reached out to customer service. Within 48 hours, customer service emailed me back saying, hey, we got it. Um, we just need your uh, serial number and some pictures and everything. and send them that, send them the link to the video that I posted in the Facebook group. <clears throat> and I would say within a day or two from that, I got another email saying that my warranty was approved and that they were gonna ship me a new motor and uh, they wanted the old one back and you know all that stuff that we're doing right now. And then about a week or so, five to seven days later, um, you know, because the weekend and everything, it was about a week later that they sent me an email saying it shipped out. And then three or four days after that is today and I got my motor. So the 8th was when I sent them the email. Today is the 22nd. So I'm pretty sure that's exactly 14 days from the, the first time I contacted them. 
till I got my new motor. That's two weeks. I'm saying that's that's pretty that's pretty dang good. Um, and it was like a little over a week from when they approved my warranty. Um, they had to wait to get it shipped out and everything. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think that's good customer service. Uh, a full replacement inside of two weeks. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it is a bummer that you're down for like two weeks. Um, but I technically wasn't down. I just couldn't use the steering or the spot lock. It worked fine. You know, I just had to steer with my feet. But anyways, guys, hopefully this is an informative video for you. If you have an old town autopilot or uh, are having issues with your motor, uh, rest assured old town does stand behind their product and behind the Minn Kota and uh, they'll get you hooked up. But anyways, this is my warranty review. I would say they did good, they passed, they stood behind the product. Hopefully we don't have any more issues and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.